So I want to look at um, the, the in-game analysis, actually doing it um, even better than what I'm doing it now, because still I'm still falling into that remit of seeing the golden moves after the game, you know, during my, my own personal evaluation of the game straight afterwards i'm seeing golden moves that i could have taken advantage of i'm also seeing moves that the opponent could have taken advantage of but obviously they missed it so then i gained advantages in those particular games so i'm wanting to try and knock on the head those types of situations where i'm giving the opponent advantages but also where i'm missing the golden opportunities I feel I'm getting there, but still it's those small details that I'm missing, especially when I'm seeing them afterwards. Yes, you might win the game, but it's not really about the winning for me. It's about the quality of the game. Could be a scrappy mess, but if the scrappy mess has got the concepts of what we are training, training for, then I'm a happy bunny. Let's go with the queen. Don't need to get fancy. So that's really my focal point today. It's just around trying to get that in-game analysis nailed on better. It's not going to be a hundred percent proof because, as you know, we like a bit of scrappy chess. But if we're utilising the concepts well, oh, well, we might as well just take this. I'm not into fancy, fancy. Let's take and let's make some space for castling. Don't want to get embroiled in chasing the knight around. Okay, so that's going to be attacking. Yeah, let's just bring the king here, castle in. Bishop supporting the knight currently. Let's get the bishop out. Let's bait the pawn. Attacking the rook. Let's bring the bishop here. Okay, what's the opponent seeing that I'm not seeing? Small pawn push to harass the knight. So they've moved dead quick there, like they've got things sewn up. So we will hit the knight. Unfortunately, they've got a space to jump to. I'm going to push this pawn, looking to tantalize the bishop a little bit. We don't need to move this quick. So we can attack the bishop, like we said, attacking the pawn. Bishop's kind of jammed in, so he has to take, and then he's going to, fingers crossed, they lose the bishop. Because the pawn takes, and the bishop doesn't have anywhere to go. They may just do like a, oh, well, you're hitting my minor piece, I'll hit yours, type thing. And then that gives the bishop space, maybe to, well, not much, but. Just take. So we'll hit the bishop, it's still locked in. Then do they do this? Yeah, no, let's take the bishop with the smaller piece. This pawn doesn't have any protection, so I don't want to fall into any traps. Don't move fast now, let's look now. Let's look.
Oof. A little bit of focus. It's those moments where, if when I'm doing the narration, I just picked up on it then. When I'm doing the narration in critical mo um, situations like that, I just need to stop, look and listen. Very key, because in narration mode, I'm just blabbing on, so I'm not actually fully, fully compass mentors on the situation so i'll just throw a move out it's not saying i'm going to do it perfectly all the time because i'll probably still run my mouth and still make mistakes but yeah just seeing that moment there it's the narration mode i need to just stop and then take a look at the situation and then listen to what it's actually telling me nice one okay we'll go into the next one and we'll probably blob but hey let's try and do that stop look and listen at the critical moment to find that better move Let's uh, push on the pawn, block it. Oh, we've got the queen out early. Old school. Let's go here with the knight supporting the pawn. And push on to the queen. See what it wants to do. Let's attack the queen. Obviously not taken, so bring the bishop here. Or take the queen off. Oh, that's... Um, different it's tempting to go like this you know what i'm going to go for it just attack the queen seeing as they didn't want to take then they're probably not going to take now one of these okay he's blocking this palm which is good Let's attack this palm the knight is blocking. Attack the knight. Doesn't care. Looks like we'll get the queen exchange then. But like we said, oh, they are. They're taking at last. That's interesting. That's a horse of a different colour. Are we going to manage to castle, do you think? And let's get castled. They're frantically coming down, sorting this one, aren't they? Let's hit the knight. Let's hit the bishop. Let's go for the bishop again. Let's hit the knight instead. Now that that's blocked, it's not attacking the bishop. It's got no protection. X ray through to the rook, so the pawn's going to drop. I think there's an attack in the center. Knight's on the move. Probably sitting here. This has got no protection. Let's bring the rook here protecting the pawn. I want to get the knight moving. Okay, interesting. We could lock the center down, couldn't we? Let's take. And let's take. Right, so they've got a pass pawn here that the bishop looks like it's kindly babysitting, but I think they're going to want to move the bishop, so they will they will attack, I think. So we have this, but he's got two pieces on there. Let's bring the rook supporting. attacking unprotected pawn here
Okay, so the knight's in. So it can take, it's just bringing this pawn back into line. Let's take. So we can attack this pawn, but it does get supported by this pawn. But it does give us the opportunity to double the rooks. But we are attacking two pawns, so one of the pawns will go. So we'll attack the pawns. Take this one. Got space to attack the king. Just need to get the other rook in there somehow. Can't go here because the bishop is protecting this. These elements of this, maybe just leaving the king alone. Get this rook around somehow. It's no rush, seven minutes. Try and build the build the case. Alright, so they've actually gone there. There's no, I don't think there's a point in putting a check now because it's just going to attack it. So let's use the rook on the open file. See if we can get to this square. Attacking unprotected pawn. Give them something to think about again. It's attacking the rook. The rook can attack the king, so it looks like it's probably going to do a rook exchange. not doing that so we can bring the rook here like we were planning yep it's on a white square they've got a dark square bishop we're attacking the pawn the rooks come to defend the pawn so we're giving them something to think about bishop can sneak in here and attack the bishop i think we'll do that we'll sneak in if the rook comes in attacks, just take simple. Yep. Let's attack the bishop. Just take which rook. I like the fact that that's there. So I think, but then owning the open file is key, isn't it? So I think we'll take with this one. King's moving further down. Let's hit the king, see if we can get this pawn. It's probably going to go, oh, it doesn't go back up. What am I missing? Let's take. Probably rule the day I've given up this um, open file with the rook. Watch him come running straight there now. This king's probably looking to do this, but he's not doing that yet. Tempting. Check. He comes here, he's in a nice position, gets his rook to come down and hit us, then that's checkmate. Let's be let's be a bit tender. Let's put bring the king here first. Oh, but then he just drops here and gets the pawn. Okay, I'm gonna go here, because if he drops there and goes for the pawn, we can swing swing across here. Oh no, he's got a lovely passer. Got the check. But maybe we can slide here. But then he can escape if we take the pawn because it comes here. And we just put a check on. Give them something to think about whilst this pawn is moseying it way down. Do we lose tempo timing? So we slide across. Maybe it brings the king back up just to protect it anyway. That would be a draw. Slide it across, he pushes down. We take with the check, he comes across. We put a check on the king. He goes back. And we can't get across here. We'd have to go here. He drops down and we won't be able to stop the pawn. So we'd have to do this, I think, first in order to bring the rook down to be able to stop this pawn, annoying little pawn. Oh, we don't even have to do that. Could just come here and attack the pawn. Oh, that was a big conversation for a simple move. 
I was trying to weigh up the dangers of the pawn and I've played so many games where I've just let the pawn slide by thinking that, you know, you don't need to do anything about it. But you do. He's probably thinking of just bringing the rook here. We take. Puts a check on the king. We move up. Starts taking pawns off. We've got passes, but, you know, I mean, he's got his own as well. Might take a while for his pawns to get promoted once this one gets taken off. So maybe you don't need to lose too much sleep over that position. Okay, and they've left the game. Bit of blitz. 3 and 0. Oh, early attack. It's castle. Just block this um, dynamic bishop. Oh, too quick. Splits, not bullet. Now he wants us to open up this pawn so his queen can start coming down here. Oh, my days. Ten and oh. Let's just attack the pawn like we do. Let's hit the center. Let's grab the pawn. Too early for the queen. Too early for the queen. Gets chased around. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of something different, but let's just go with baiting the pawn. Queen's out. I said it's too early for the queen. Yep, yeah, it's always going to happen. Nope. Nope. Just not yet. Let's bring the bishop through. It's not x raying through anything. I might not take unless a queenside castle. They rush into castle, makes sense. Queen's a little bit active, isn't it? Got two pieces on there, but he's now put himself in the X ray anyway. If the knight did go and attack, he just takes with the queen, though. That's what they've done that for. Let's. He's got a two on one on it still, dude. He's got a two on one on it anyway. Let's take the knight. It's causing confusion. Let's take, get the pawns doubled. And we're in the end game and they have double pawns, but they have access rights on here. So do we go queenside castling if we have the time? It's going to want to bring this pawn back in line. So this bishop's going to come shooting here, but either way it brings the pawn in line, doesn't it? Oops, let's get this knight out. They might do this eventually. Tucking pawn.
Mm, blockage on aisle six. It's a free bishop, though, isn't it? With a check on the king. It looks like they've left the game. Move order. Okay, nice one. Stop, look and listen. It appears to be working. Nothing is guaranteed. There's no proper full answer to chess, you know, so let's not get giddy with it. It's just trying to improve a better way of thinking. Um, we'll always find something else to try and help us make those better decisions in chess to try and find those better moves. At this moment in time, it is the stop, look and listen situation because especially doing the narration it does get in the way when you're talking and even the best of them they fall for it as well you know they're too busy jibber jabbering and you know i don't do the chat thing because i don't you know it's not that's not my scene but yeah your full concentration isn't on there so you're going to make mistakes but if you stop look and listen you can invariably as we're showing try and find the better moves rather than seeing the moves after you've played the game and you're evaluating and go, oh, I could have done that, I could have done this. That's really annoying. But it's always going to happen. That's the life of chess. <laughs>